Hey everybody, this is Praxis, and the weather today could not be more perfect for concrete work. It's really ideal temperatures, it's about uh, maybe like 60 degrees Fahrenheit uh, outside. It could be warmer than this, but the point is it's not too cold. It's not too cold for concrete. The sky is just, you know, all cloud cover, so we're not having sun come in and bake the stuff and dry the concrete out too fast. Uh, it's very, very humid in the air, but it's not supposed to rain for like 48 hours at least. So. It's really perfect. If it was going to rain, we'd really have to worry about like the rain washing the stuff off. Uh, it's perfect. <laughs> it's just this confluence of all these different factors, and it's just absolutely perfect. I did put some plastic uh, up over my work uh, just in case it rains, but um, as you can see, I didn't cover up all of it because it's really not supposed to. I'm going to kind of uh, flip around and show you what I uh, was working on today. Uh, this is the first coat for stucco. Uh, where I, I just uh, put it down. This is an S-type mortar, and I mixed in, for one 80-pound bag of S-type mortar, I uh, mix in like one shovel full of Portland uh, to give it a little bit of uh, extra uh, strength and, uh, you know, kind of bonding to everything for the, uh, the stucco work. Uh, this is the first pass, and you see how it's all rough like that. Uh, you put it on, get it all into the, uh, the uh, wire mesh here, and, uh, and then you take uh, the, the kind of raking side of the... Uh, whatever it's called, like trowel or whatever, uh, and make all these scarified marks. And that's going to make it so when I do the next layer, it's going to have something to really grab onto. So this is just the first layer of that. But I do have the final layer on the inside. I didn't want to leave the inside just looking like bricks. I guess I, I could have had it look like that, but uh, I didn't want it to look like a prison for the chickens. So uh, let's just kind of float in here. This side over here, I'm just going to rotate around, uh, is easier to see. Uh, I just went over the whole thing. I sprayed the wall down with water and uh, and then uh, just took the stucco mix and went over the whole surface. It's much nicer looking than just a bunch of bricks, at least in my opinion, it's much nicer looking. And what I'm going to do later is I'm going to put a nice, thick, I don't know, like enamel paint or something like that. Something really thick that I can just like spray down later on when I'm trying to clean this place up. Because uh, I've seen a lot of um, videos where people will get um, what are they called? Like ticks, like poultry ticks. And, uh, you know, all those kind of bugs will, uh, kind of get down into every crack they can find in there. So I really want to just gum up the whole thing with uh, some kind of a really thick, strong paint and, uh, make it so like the bugs don't have anywhere to hide in there and, uh, it'll make it really easy to clean. But uh, today, really, really productive day. Um, I'm exhausted because I was like hunched over the whole time doing concrete work, but, uh, Really happy with it. The, the next thing to do is just wait for this stuff to cure on the outside. Uh, I'll give it like a day plus or something like that. I, like I'm not gonna do it tomorrow. I'll let it cure the rest of the day today through tomorrow. And then the following day, um, I will uh, I'll put the final coat on out here. And once the final coat's on out, out here, wait another couple of days. And then I can start like putting this rock into that slot. Finish, finish, finish. Finish up all the front. This whole area in the front is gonna get raised up. We still got to put the drain pipe down through there, but uh, yeah, it's coming out really, really well. That's it. Thanks for watching.